Hey guys, Stones here, coming at you with a second video in 24 hours. Just posted a video showing you everything that I got from yard sales and garage sales and the electronics recycling, uh, recycling event from the weekend. I just got back from the Goodwill bins, uh, the Goodwill outlet. Um, it is Memorial Day. I wasn't too sure if I was going to take the day off or if I was going to go. But I was kind of inspired because I didn't bring home too much from the electronics recycling event. And I kind of felt like I needed to pad my week with more things to list. Plus, my last two big sales um, were items that I found at the Goodwill outlet. So I was kind of inspired to find some good things again. Um, because that's where I found them. And sometimes you have good luck. So today I wasn't too sure what was going on with it being a holiday. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if there was going to be a lot of people because sometimes that happen on, happens on holidays. You get kids who are off of school. You get uh, parents and adults that are off of work. And it was kind of an even. It kind of balanced out. Some of the regular guys weren't there. But then we had a bunch of new people, new faces that I'd never seen before. We did. I did see some high schoolers that were trying to do the vintage clothing thing. and uh, But they disappeared after a couple of rotations. But uh, this is what I got from two rotations of the bins. I try to get there before they rotate at 10 o'clock, and they rotate every hour on the hour. I spent uh, $32, $32 total, and it's $1.39 a pound there. Um, and this is after I've rounded up from three different purchases. I actually had to make my purchases right away, take them to my car, and then come back in because I just had too much to carry around the entire time. So... They had a lot of Halloween stuff for some reason. I don't know why. They had at least two or three bins filled with Halloween de decorations, costumes, all sorts of things. And some Halloween stuff does really well and it will sell throughout the whole year. So, um, did not disappoint. I did come back one of the, with a big item again. So I'm happy that I went. But uh, let me show you what I found. First of all, I got these two witches. Halloween decorations, one is meant to be posted in the ground, the other one kind of hangs. Uh, this first one is broken and didn't realize it was broken, but maybe it's not going to matter because of what this thing does, and also because her clothing kind of hides it. Maybe they can get some black gloves or something like that and hide that. Um, but this thing, I didn't realize until I got it on the, the picnic table here, that when you push the button... It talks, but it also moves, which surprised me. I think I accidentally hit the button when I was putting it in the car, but I didn't realize that it moved. And this is the one that you put in the ground. It has a metal post um, stuck to it. And this is the one that you hang. Um, it doesn't do anything. Um, this mouth looks like it should be articulated, but it's really not connected to anything. Uh, the, eyes, the eyes light up, but it's not making any sounds. I'm not, I don't know if it's supposed to make any sounds besides just light up but uh who knows the value on these who knows if I will, i'll even be able to find them i don't know uh the other halloween thing that i got was this <clears throat> indoor outdoor skull mirror it's literally a mirror inside the mouth of the skull it's still in the original box definitely vintage as you can tell by the design of the box i flipped it over on the back because i wanted to show you that this was made by the company fun world or easter unlimited and if you're familiar with that name, they're the company that's famous for making the very, very, very uh, valuable Scream masks from the Scream the movie. Uh, so the ghost faced is the character. If you find a ghost face, ma ghost face mask that is marked both Easter Unlimited and Fun World, it's probably worth lots of money. Now, the funny thing about this is I researched all over the place for this decoration. Matter of fact, I researched, and there it goes. The wind took it down again. Uh, it's really windy right now. Um, there's not a lot of decorations made by Fun World. It's all masks. Uh, matter of fact, I did three years of history search of eBay through Terapeak, and I could not find any decorations made by Fun World other than masks, other than the Halloween masks. So... That could be good, that could be bad, I don't know, that could be worth some money, who knows. Um, got a bucket here of Paw Patrol and Lion King figures. I grab those up whenever I can, and they normally do um, pretty well when you get enough of them. I got this, I thought it was kind of cool, I've never seen these before. This is Tupperware, shout out Kevin, uh, Kevin the Commonwealth Picker. 
I've never seen ones, uh, I've never seen jello molds, individual jello molds. And these are called Gillette set. They're not worth a lot, maybe, maybe $15, something like that. Uh, Mad Magazine, I just grabbed that because I used to read Mad Magazine all the time and I was just thinking the other day how I haven't really picked up an issue in a long time. Didn't even know if they printed it still. But I'm just going to read that. Um, it's, I don't need any more reading material, but I was just, ironically, I was just thinking the other day that I haven't read a Mad Magazine. Uh, salt and pepper shakers, I just thought these were cool. They kind of look like they're made out of wood, but they are ceramic. They're whales. I haven't, I couldn't find any comps for this design. Probably not worth a lot, maybe $15, $20. Under here are uh, bag and boards for comic books. I collect comics. Constantly need bags and boards, so I thought I'd grab these, maybe for the cheaper comics, um, because I don't know how old these are. And, and bags do, after a while, they do start breaking down, and they could cause your comic books to yellow, and your, cause your comic book pages to get brittle, that type of thing. Um, the Pokemon, um, that's just a little... Uh, carrying case or a little uh, portfolio for your cards. No, nothing special, but it is brand new. Um, this was interesting. I, I'm surprised no one grabbed these up and maybe they didn't see the little emblem on the, the handles. But these are Mickey Mouse uh, silverware. Um, spoons, forks, knives, and really big spoons. I looked these up and it looks like a complete set of... They, they sold them at Disney Parks. It's a 24-piece set that sells anywhere from... 70 to 90 dollars brand new now someone must have had multiple sets because this has like 32 pieces something like that uh 34 pieces something like that so that must be multiple sets i mean there's 12 spoons alone there was uh 12 knives alone so who knows but i don't have too many forks maybe someone grabbed those and saw them maybe they were separated i don't know there isn't too many um used sets being sold in ebay that's either a good thing or a bad thing some people are trying to sell them individually that to me is too slow i'll either sell the whole lot or maybe sell sets of like four you know or or three or something like that i don't know but that i thought that was just cool these are vintage paper garland um christmas decorations they basically fold out it's kind of like the paper dolls you used to cut out when you were a kid but uh, different designs, there's Santa Claus, there's a snowman, there is um, candles, I don't know what else. I think that's about it. There, oh, there's reindeer back here. Or no, gingerbread. Um, not really worth much, but I thought they were kind of cool. Maybe I'll just sell them as a lot. Uh, there are paper collectors, definitely uh, Christmas uh, collectors as well. Uh, this is pretty cool, this puzzle place, um, play set. It's basically a puzzle, the pieces flip and uh, make different characters from the show. If you remember, this is what was like a, um, I think it was a puppet show, a kid's children's puppet show. This is uh, dated 1994, 93 or 94. And right now there's no active listings for this on eBay. They sell for, a complete one sells for about $25, $30. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I picked these up new in package. I thought they were fun. Uh, it looks like a toy that was sold on TV at one time. It's one of those as seen on YouTube. Um, I've heard, and I don't know if, if, I, if it's correct or not, that the Ace, as, as seen on TV products, you can actually get those banned. You're actually not supposed to list those on eBay um, because that's one of the um, one of the protected brands or one of the brands that eBay will remove your listing if, if you have them listed. I don't know about the as, as seen on YouTube, but I grabbed them. Um, these pens are cool. I just like the design. They kind of look like old school tattoos. Um, with the love hearts and the birds and the roses and the skulls. This company actually ink works. I looked it up. I couldn't find these pens, this design, but they do a lot of licensing. So they've done Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pens. They've done DC pens, Marvel Comics pens. Uh, they've recently done Five Nights at Freddy, Freddy pens. They've done a lot. So it's not a, a generic company. It seems like they've been around for a while and they've done... A lot of licensing when it comes to pens. Um, brand new Happy Meal toys. I pick those up whenever I can, and I sell them in massive lots. Uh, right now I have a lot of, uh, I think, 300 listed on eBay and Macari, and I've actually had people buy them from me. Um, some toys, there's some Blaze, um, and uh, that's about it except for my Grail. 
here we go. I found this, I couldn't believe it was just sitting there and I actually didn't think there was any value to it. I picked it up because it was brand new sealed, classic movie, obviously Elvis Presley. I couldn't believe it was picked over. I couldn't, this was a bin that was picked over and at my Goodwill outlet, there's a group of older guys, I call them the media men. And all they're after is the media bins. They're after the VHS, the DVDs, mostly vinyl, but they're also after cassettes. They're after a lot of different things. And it's, it's a group of about five to eight different older men. And that's what they go after first. And sometimes that's all, that's all they care about. This media bin had been picked over. It wasn't one of the newly rotated bins. And I saw it sitting there on the top and, and no one took it. Um, I looked up, this is the first pressing, the first printing of this movie. It's big boxed. It's a full box, so it's like a slip case. Definitely brand new sealed. There's the sticker, the seal. Very, very good condition. There's a little bit of a dent here. I thought about sending this in to get um, graded. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. This has sold in brand new condition. Right now there are no active listings. As high as $200 plus shipping. So I think I'm gonna list this since I have the only copy. Maybe $250 free shipping. Um, and since it's sold for $200 plus shipping, maybe $225, something like that. But I scored again. Goodwill Outlet came proper. They, they gave me something big. Uh, if you didn't see my Instagram posts, just this past weekend, I sold a plush, a Nyan Cat plush that probably cost me a dime. This thing was tiny, and it sold for $110. I got that from the Goodwill Outlet. And another thing that I got from the Goodwill Outlet was a near complete, it was missing one piece, a backgammon set that was made out of Bacolite, marbled ba Bacolite. I had it listed on eBay and Macari for $150. I accepted an offer on Friday morning for $120. I pulled those out of the Goodwill outlet as well. Those were passed over too. They were sitting there in the bin. Nobody wanted them. Uh, this was They didn't come out of a new bin, and it wasn't because I got, got to them first. It was No one saw any value in them except for me. So here we go. Um, lightning struck again, $200 plus dollars. $32 total. I can probably get that easily from one of these Halloween decorations. So there you go. Goodwill outlet. Happy Memorial Day, everyone. Talk to you soon.